the hardest is the start. I won't lie, the start is the hardest part. Everyone makes plans and has ideas. I remember talking to classmates during my studies. Luke talked about how he will create his own company that will become the next Facebook, make enough money to retire at 30 and live on the French Riviera surrounded by models. Anne discussed her plans of travelling around the world, two years in Asia, in Africa and in South America, where she will discover her inner self and write a book about the adventures she experiences. Matthias was going to stay at school, do groundbreaking research and earn the Nobel Prize. When we met ten years later, it turned out that Luke was climbing the corporate ladder, Anne never left the country, had a husband and two kids and Matthias hadn't finished his PhD. Their dreams had faded away. Now they only discuss practical things. Mortgages, apartments, spouses, kids. When I mentioned their old plans, they laughed and said they were kids then and didn't know that life is different than they imagined. Yes, life is different. Life can be anything. No, I'm not going to say that you can do anything and you only have to want it, because you will end up like Luke, Anne or Matthias. I'm not saying that that is bad, but if you have ambitions to really change something in the world, you have to choose a different path. Do you know what makes the difference? It is the details and your first steps. My classmates had wonderful dreams, but they didn't make plans. They were afraid of their dreams and didn't want them to come true. That is why they didn't make them happen. I never had dreams, in the sense of things that I wanted, but I was too afraid to reach for, because it wasn't the right moment. It is always the right moment. My head was only full of plans and lists to complete, and thanks to these small steps, not paying attention to other people, I arrived at the place I wanted to be in. I am still going, to begin is the hardest part. With each step, it just gets easier.